Hello, and welcome back to AI Weekly. I'm Bren Worth, CTO of Substrate AI, and today we're diving into the topic of reshaping our classrooms with integration of artificial intelligence in education. This isn't just about tech trends, it's about the future of learning. Imagine a world where learning isn't just confined to textbooks and standard lectures. With AI, we're talking about an immersive, interactive experience. Think of virtual reality, field trips, to ancient civilizations or AI-powered science experiments where students discover concepts in real time. This isn't science fiction, this is the future, and it's closer than you might think. AI can now customize learning experiences to each student's pace, ensuring no one is left behind. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The real power of AI in education lies in its ability to make complex ideas accessible. For instance, imagine learning about space, not from a textbook, but by interacting with like a 3D model of the solar system, guided by an AI that responds to your every question. And it's not just for STEM subjects. In literature, AI can help students explore different interpretations of text, encouraging deeper analysis and critical thinking skills. Writing essays can be daunting, but with AI tools, students can get help with structuring their thoughts, improving their grammar, and even getting creative with storytelling. Now let's talk about challenges. The rise of AI in education brings up important questions about data privacy, the digital divide, and ensuring that the technology enhances rather than replaces human interaction and learning. We must ensure that AI tools are accessible to all students, not just those in well-funded schools. And while AI can offer incredible support, the role of teachers in guiding mentoring and inspiring students remains irreplaceable. It's also crucial to teach students about the ethics of AI. They need to understand not just how to use AI, but how it works, its limitations, and its ethical considerations surrounding its use. And let's not forget, AI in education isn't just about students, it's a tool for teachers too, assisting in grading, giving insights into student performance, and helping in the lesson planning. There's also the environmental angle. With AI, we can reduce the need for physical resources, making education more sustainable. Digital textbooks, virtual labs, and online resources can all lessen our environmental footprint. So where do we go from here? The integration of AI in education is a journey, not a destination. It's about finding that sweet spot where technology and complements certain traditional teaching methods, creating and enriching the learning environment that prepares students for a future where AI is ubiquitous. Moving on to a heated topic in AI world, the use of AI in creative fields and controversy surrounding it. The recent resignation of Ed Newton Rex from Stability AI over concerns of copyright infringement highlights a growing debate. Should AI be allowed to use copyrighted material without permission? AI tools like Stability AI's have been scraping content from the internet, including music, images, and writing, to train their algorithms. This has sparked legal actions from artists and creators who feel that their work is being used in unfairly. The question is, where do we draw the line between innovation and respecting the rights of creators? This isn't just a legal issue, it's the moral one. How can we balance the need for data to train these models with the rights of individual artists? Now let's dive into the concept of fair use. Many AI companies argue that their use of copyrighted material falls under this category. But is this just a loophole or does it generally support creative development as some claim? As we navigate these murky waters, one thing is clear. The conversation around AI and copyright is far from over, and we need to find a way to foster innovation while protecting the rights of creators. What's your stats on this? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, let's talk about language. The Cambridge Dictionary's word of the year is hallucinate, but not in the way that you might think. It's gained a new AI-related definition when AI produces false information. This highlights a significant aspect of AI's evolution, that these systems become more complex than not just processing data, they're generating new content, which sometimes can be misleading or inaccurate. AI hallucinations remind us of the importance of human oversight. While AI can process vast amounts of data, its creativity isn't foolproof, and we must remain vigilant and critical of the information AI presents to us. This brings us to the role of AI in media content recommendation. AI algorithms, while sophisticated, can still lead us astray and create echo chambers. It's a reminder to diversify our sources and not to rely solely on AI curated content. The evolution of AI language is fascinating, but also there's a call to action. We need to stay informed and critical and ensuring that we harness its potential responsibility. Lastly, let's delve into the complex but crucial topic 
regulating AI. With the advancements in AI technology, the call for regulations is growing louder. But how feasible is it to regulate something as fast as and rapidly as evolving as AI? Look at, at the drama in open AI right now. Jimmy Wales of Wikipedia is skeptical, and he's not alone. The challenge is immense. AI doesn't just cross technological boundaries, it spans global ones. How do we create regulations that are effective worldwide? Moreover, regulation shouldn't just stifle innovation. The goal is to ensure safety and ethical use without hindering progress that AI can bring to fields like healthcare, education, and environmental protection. It's a delicate balance and one that requires global cooperation and understanding. The conversation on AI regulation is just beginning and it's one we all need to take part of. So that's a wrap on today's AI Weekly Update. From education to ethics, language to law, AI is reshaping our world in ways we still are trying to understand. Stay tuned for more insights and discussions right here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your AI Weekly Dose of AI News. I'm Brad Worth, signing off, and until next time.